Stop aiming for Melia and aim for me. Come here. Yeah, yeah, come here, come here. All right. Oh, I'm going to dodge it too. Let's go. Can't touch this. Yo, Ricky, you got any of them heals? Need some of them heals? What? Oh, it's another vision. I really did not like Nightmare King Grim or whatever his name was. I thought he was like... The way the game is designed where Hollow Knight has a little bit of a delay to most of his attacks and whatnot, and then on top of that just being like insanely fast compared to every other boss in the game, I found him very not fun to fight. And so I was like, you know, I'm just I'm just gonna stop. Because I've liked every boss I fought except one until that boss. So I was like, nah, nah. I got other games to play. Goodbye. Easy wins. All right, well, that got a little dicey for a second, but we made it work. You can actually banish him? Yeah, that's what I did. I didn't beat Nightmare King whatever. I was like, yo, this boss fight sucks and isn't fun. And then I was like, didn't someone say I could go? Didn't uh, that one guy say you can just go get rid of him? He was like, go to where it all began. And I'm like, I'm going to do that. And then I went and did that. And then I, oh, there's another freaking Danosaurus. And then I uh, went to the new DLC area, and it was like, hey, you want to fight, like, all the bosses and some new bosses? And I was like, you know what? No, I really don't, actually. Boys hode. Me and the boys with our hodes. Just getting up in there. Where is he going? Who is... Wait a minute. Are you alerting the Danosaurus that I'm here? No way. Oh, my goodness. What? What? I cannot believe that he's done this. Leave me alone. Leave me alone! That hoad is the most dangerous enemy in the entire freaking game. That was like a 2 billion IQ play. Leave me alone. How long is this thing going to chase me? Thank you. Hey, an ash fox. Yo, look at this giant friggin' cliff of death. Hallo you? I did not know they could do that. Swear after six, my internet speed is lowered and I can't watch streams. That really sucks and doesn't make a lot of sense. You should talk to your internet provider. That's very strange. All right. Hey, I'm here to kill you all. Come here. Get this get this boy out of here first. Bitey, bitey. Now I'm kind of like, I know originally I was like, I feel like Electric Gut Buster isn't that great and might be on the chopping, uh, the chopping block long term. Now I'm kind of like, now that I'm in some fights where I don't have Shulk on hand or Char, I don't have Shulk or Charlotte. Yo, gold chest. To also be able to inflict break because I don't think there's any way at least as of now for Melia or Ricky to inflict break Someone get me up, please Yeah, I get that affinity Now I'm kind of like now. I'm kind of feeling it more. I'm really feeling it even now I'm like dude, maybe we should just hold on to uh, electric gut buster long term Get wrecked Because otherwise, Steel Strike just doesn't do much for us. If we don't have some way of uh, inflicting break. Yeah, get serious, Ricky. Get this boy out of my face. Check it out. Dunban Teether attack that isn't worth very much. Ooh, fancy your Luga mask. Don't mind if I do. Oh my word, I still need four more of those? You're kidding me. I also need Hode Camouflage, apparently. Just got some more right there. All right, still got more of these things to kill. I'm worried. I'm watching that one right there that's running around. That's the one that got the Danosaurus. I don't understand why the Danosaurus was like, yeah, I'll help you, little friend. Why didn't he just eat the hoe? Also, what are these creatures? What are these hoes? 
Goodbye. Impressive indeed. You know what? I'm gonna kill you. Nope, come here. You deserve to die for what you did before, where you lured that thing over to me. Now you get to die. Yo, who's got aggro right now? Ricky? Ricky, give me that. That's my aggro now. Thibs. Ricky's been toppled. Stop. No, I gotta get to Ricky. I gotta help him. I need that affinity. Let's go. Come here. Get down. And now, the chain attack. No messing up allowed. It's always healing Aqua. Oh, he got it. Didn't give me another one. Rip. Ewoks, more like Jawas. I was thinking, like, these remind me of the things from Star Wars. Could not remember what they were called. You don't like NKG, you might not like Silk Song. First of all, Silk Song hasn't come out, so I do not take anyone's opinion on, like, you probably wouldn't like this game that I've never played before. Second of all, I'm going to play the game and see how I feel about it. It's a lot more fast-paced and more about countering. Well, yeah, maybe the gameplay is more centered around that. The reason I didn't like... Let me make this very clear. I do not dislike fast-paced gameplay. That isn't what I was saying. I was saying, in Hollow Knight specifically, the Hollow Knight, or Dust, or Ghost, whatever his name is, the character you control, when he does actions like dashing and double jumping, there is a small delay, especially with his double jump, there's a small delay between the button press and him actually doing something. So when you fight a really fast boss, like the Nightmare King Grim or whatever, I really hated it, because even as I was trying to react to things, even if I pressed a button the second I reacted to something, there would be a very small delay that would normally lead to me getting hit for two damage, and getting hit in that game is very fatal, because you lose health really fast in a fight like that, where there was just no time to heal. If it's different in Silk Song, where it's like, oh, well, when you play as, uh, what is her name? Hornet. When you play as Hornet, she doesn't have as much delay or anything, and stuff is more fast-paced as a result. I'll probably still really like it. I won't know until I play the game. Oh, hey, we made it to where the friggin' Telethia is. Do I want to fight the Telethia right now? I don't think I do. Yeah, let's just... We'll leave the Telethia for now. We'll come back to it later. I don't want to do that right now. I do want to murder you because you saw me, so you have to die. Get Blossom Dance, by the way. It is a, I'm, I'm glad that there's apparently no need to hit the, the outer circle with Dunban's move. It's a lot harder to focus on hitting the outer circle when the blossoms are on the screen. For me, at least. Were there Telethia in Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Not that I remember. There is a singular Telethia in Xenoblade Chronicles X that is like a super boss you can fight. I don't know if it's a super boss, but it's a, a very high level boss you can fight that you normally would only do in like super post game, from what I'm aware. But, uh, and then there are Telethia all throughout this game. But I don't think there are any Telethia in Xenoblade 2. Oh, wait a minute. There are enemies I need to kill right here. These freaks. I don't think I need to kill this enemy specifically. I think this is the quest saying, like, hey, you need masks, and these guys can drop masks. Oh, we got a chain attack already? Not bad, not bad. Turn this thing around for Ricky to get... Yeah, get that get that bleed off. Get down. Go ahead and give me... I don't even know who has uh, aggro, but I will take any that Melia might have because she's the one who needs to be protected the most. In this stream, we protect best girl. Bum, bum, bum. Get him. Look at that damage. It's always healing Aqua. 
My chain links, please. I need this affinity up. Oh, you're super dead. Goodbye. Oh, hey, that thing's here now. I'm just going to, like, dodge all of your moves. Don't mind me. Ricky, thank you for the heals. Much appreciated, as always. Get on the ground. This thing dies way easier. I should have made sure to have killed this thing with the chain attack to, uh... Get more chain bar back, but whatever. Party gauge, whatever it is. Who are you aimed at? Are you attacking Ricky? Yeah, you're attacking Ricky. Ricky, give me your aggro. Oh, we got another chain attack already. Let's go. I want to try and kill with it, so I'm going to wait just a second, get you a little bit lower. I think Chad said if you kill with it, you get, like, more materials or something. I don't remember. You're super dead, my dude. It's been nice knowing you. Don't mess up, Ricky. Oh, is it finally going to be a bolt? Oh, yeah, a bolt chain attack. So good. Oh, Arena or, or Luga? I do need to kill, like, three of those specifically. Do you also have the face mask I need? Nope, that's hold camouflage. Which I also needed. <laughs> How nice. Wasn't here when you got him, so what is Ricky good for in battle? Is he another DPS like Shulk? Ricky can basically do whatever Ricky feels like doing. Ricky has the highest HP stat in the game. He has uh, what I am looking for for my Ricky build, and what I think I'm going to try and focus on him in is, uh, is uh, building up status effects to kill really fast because Ricky has an art that inflicts bleed he has an art that inflicts chill and he has an, ar an art that inflicts poison and all three of those arts do basically the same thing where they just make it where an enemy takes damage over time oh Ricky I didn't realize Ricky was toppled when I did that rip I've made an error oh I got the fire hit at least I did not realize Ricky was down what a waste what an absolute waste get up my dude Get rid of any debuffs you have. Thank you. All right, let's start doing some dodge in here. That was a waste of Blossom Dance, but he's dead. That's all that matters. We're good. We're good. Get down, you nerd. You resisted it. Ricky, give me your aggro. Bring it on. No, don't. I should have taken Melia's aggro. Dang it. Oh, hey, a quest complete. I don't know what I did. Oh, that or Luka died. Perfect. Give me this. Lower his stats. Go down, fool. So he's like the debuff slash status character. I, Ricky can do... He can be a tank. He can be a DPS. He has like two red arts that are both uh, like backslash where they do more damage and inflict more debuffs. Or not debuffs, but inflict more bleed if you hit from behind. Ricky can do a lot of different stuff. He also gets burn in eight. I need that. Yo, only two more masks to go. Not bad. Ricky can do a ton of stuff. He can fill pretty... You can fill... You can have him fill a lot of different roles, basically, if you wanted to. Live this. Thank you. But I think as I go forward playing, I'm going to have my Ricky kind of be like, look at all of these different uh, long-term damage effects I put on you. So that he can like, he can inflict burn, chill, poison, and bleed all back to back. So the enemy is just constantly taking extra damage. That sounds like what I want to try and do with Ricky. Have we gotten any new skills recently? No. Ricky's potential is infinite indeed. Ricky can do whatever you want. Like, that's how they market him. Like, look at this. All-in-one Nopon can perform any anything you ask. Inflict debuffs? He can do it. BDPS? He can do it. Run as the party tank? He can do it. Inflict status effects? This little ball of fur can do it. Don't you worry. He does it all. Every play style in the game all rolled into one lovable fur ball. What more could you ask for? He gets a red art that multiplies damage for every debuff is on the enemy, which can be the strongest non-talent art in the game. That's insane. Ricky's got a lot going on. Do, 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 do. 
we still got so much of Magna Forest to explore. Holy cow. I know there's like an area over here somewhere that's like, this is the Hod base. All of the Hods live here. I want to get over there because I need to kill more Orlugas and get their masks. And the, the Hods normally have Orlugas on hand. Go ahead and give me whatever you built up already. Melia. Wing Smite. That sounds painful. I was right. That hurt. The only thing that could make Ricky better is if he was a waifu. Ricky doesn't need to be a waifu because he's a dad. So he's got dad power. That's all he really needs. Thank you. Fighting the easy monsters is the best. I agree. Not really, actually, but I just wanted to agree with Ricky. Come here, you stupid Orlugas. Give me all your fancy masks. I need them. I love the little bubble noise when Melia summons Aqua. Oh, I get put to sleep, nerds. You're going down. No, I didn't get the break. Rip. I do have a chain attack ready to go. And I would like to murder you with it, if you don't mind. Apparently, Ricky is two feet tall. Two feet of pure destruction. Oh, I didn't get the thing. It's fine. Still got a kill. Over 10k damage. We take those. Ricky, you were very cool, my friend. Blossom Dance. Got it. Get destroyed, dude. I love Blossom Dance. Another chain attack. Don't mind if I do. Your discharge means nothing to me. I have the Blossom Dance. The power of the Blossoms is on my side. Goodbye. It lived! I really wish that Melia would have more electric on for chain attacks. It'll be so much better when I play as Melia so I can control... Uh, that way I can control which ones to use. Well, you can't control which ones to use. You use whichever one is in the order. But I can choose uh, which order to uh, set them up in. One foot body, the second is his hair. Nah, the hair gives him three feet. Yo, an affinity coin. I don't know why I just got an affinity coin, but let's go. Sometimes I get affinity coins, and I really don't understand why, but I'm always glad to get them. Like, by all means, give me more affinity coins. I need it. Get them, boys. Don't mess up, Ricky. Oh, it's a bolt. Let's go. You're dead. Quest complete. Yo, new skill. Nice. Look at that chain damage. Incredibly cool, Ricky. Incredibly cool. Didn't get the mask I needed. Do Ooh, got a new art too. Okay. Do, do. Ricky got... Allows items to be sold at a higher price. Very useful. I want to get to AP for all. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go to AP for all, and then we'll probably switch Ricky over to Innocence? Movement speed is worthless. That's okay. Eh. That is very good. Make it all better is what I really want. And dream of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't care about the first three all that much. They're nice to have, but these back two. That's what I really need. But first, I want to get the AP for all thing. That'll help a lot as well. All right, Melia, what did you get? A skill link thing. Oh, you got to level two affinity with Dunban. Let's go. Uh, Dunban square skills. Increase it. Hey, that'd be pretty nice if we had enough coins for it. R weight of equipment is whatever. And increasing tension after a successful start. Pretty nice. So that's also what Dunban got then was, uh... Oh, maybe... Maybe you get an affinity coin every time you rank a character's affinity up with someone else. Maybe that's what gave me the affinity coin just now. That would make sense. Also be very useful. Do, do. Strength during the night. Greatly increase ether. Increases accuracy of ether attacks. So, like, the little uh, explosion symbols aren't that good for Dunban to Melia. Except maybe increasing power at night would be nice. It's only 12 coins. Okay. 
Oh my word, three of your affinity things with Melia are the explosion symbols. I mean, the ether ones are kind of worthless on you. I mean, this would be okay, but I don't really need it. But honestly, that's kind of fine. Circle one's pretty good, though. Increases HP received from healing arts. Very, very nice. That only costs three coins. I'm going to equip that right now. What are the other ones? Increases ether. Not that good. Prevents reduction of accuracy when tension falls. Could be nice. Oh, increases agility, of course. Yes, absolutely want that from you. So, uh... The explosion went... But honestly, that's fine, because that just leaves more affinity coins for me to do with the other characters. 